2023 not yet to complete presidency seat. This is coming from the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar has charged candidates from the South East, the South South, and the South West to achieve ambitions of contesting for presidency in 2023 in line with true zoning. According to him, the tenor of the North is for the seat. The, the tenor of the North for the seat is yet to be completed. Hmm. I think these people are just trying to cause more problem. You understand? If they want, uh, if they really want to practice fairness, equity, and justice, they should allow the southerners, you know, to go. Because the way they are going about this, I don't think <laughs> uh, there's going to be peace in Nigeria. That thing they are, are afraid of might surely come upon them. That is the truth. Let this thing go accordingly. If they are talking about Iyaradowa and the uh, president, um, the head president, Gulag Jonathan, what happened between two of them is called fate. You understand? Nobody killed Iyaradowa. Nobody killed him. So I don't know why the Northerners are using that as, using that as a yardstick. They are not the owner of the country. If they want equity, fairness, if they want to throw away greed, they should allow the Southerners to go so that peace will reign. Atiku represented the Chairman Technical Committee for the actualization of Atiku Abubakar Presidential Ambition, Chief Raymond Da Porsi stated this on Thursday when he paid a time queue visit consultation to actualize the presidential ambition of the former Vice President to Ebony People's Democratic Party, PDP. According to him, the South has had a presidential position for 16 years from 1999 and 2007 and from 2009 and 2015 adding that naturally the north should produce the next president of the country in 2023 in line with rotational presidency in the country he however emphasized that these glam those glamouring for the southern presidency we are doing so for their selfish interest and not for the interests of the south the South had presidency from 1999 to 2000, 2007 and again from 2009 to 2015. The tenor of the North is yet expired. Once it is expired, the South will produce the president. The South East in particular, all those glamouring for the presidency to come to the South in 2023 are not asking for it's because of the south they are asking it for their own particular interest and the zone they came from okay and i can tell you for free of charge that even the apc itself will not bring it to the southeast the glamour for it is for the benefit of the southwest not for the benefit of the southeast we are interested in power shifting to the southeast, and we have, okay, we have to lay the proper foundation, time and care and required. He said. Do, do pass also urged Governor Dave Omai of Ebony State to return the PDP secretariat with immediate effect, release the state publicity secretary of their party, Chika. Mwaba Chika, who was reminded for illegally fake news and cyber crime in the state. I remember vividly when I came here on two, three occasions. The first one was when I was contesting for chairman of the party, the engineer. This governor met me at Abuja after I have visited here to plead with him to step down from the chairmanship race for the all all over interest of the party and in the overtrust interest of the federal government ebony citizen love the federal republic of nigeria the same man did not have sufficient patience when it comes to his own personal ambition of becoming 
the president. He breathed in a brutal manner and took the secretariat, the People's Democratic Party, that is very generous at. That is the height of brutality and wickedness. And I call on him to, at this point in time, to return the secretariat to the PDP of the Southeast Party. Let me also call on him to immediately release the PDP officer whom he has taken to court with the jump with the trump of charges. We all are supposed he was we all are supposed he was flying a very way, he was flying very well to be democratic, not tyrant. People have a right to a different opinions and must not be incriminated and dealt with in such a generous manner. I wanted to call on all the members, the People Democratic Party in this place. He remained resilient. I believe very shortly you will be hearing some good news for the head waiters of this very party. This maltreatment cannot be sustained. He stated, okay, article is in a hurry to make Nigeria work again. Let's give him a chance. He is matured and responsible. He wants to show to the world that he can repair things. Nigeria that has been scrapped by APC, stroke Buhari, to become new again. You are the dumbest in Nigeria ever. I am so ashamed sometimes from my people from the south south i know you are the true son of ibibo this is how we reason we don't cherish what a good man is or what he can do so guys as you can see the comments are getting tougher but i'm dropping it here for now kindly share your thoughts what's your take and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much bye for now